What if you could control multiple lights wirelessly, manually or both all at once using just a simple ESP32? Welcome to the world of IoT where a tiny microcontroller can become your smart home lighting brain. In this exciting project, we will automate four LEDs using four push buttons and a wave interface, giving you dual control, both manual and wireless, thanks to the power of ESP32 and Wi-Fi. To bring this project live, you will need one ESP32 dev board, four LEDs, four push buttons, breadboard, jumper wires, one micro USB cable. Let's wire it up. Take the ESP board and the breadboard. Insert four LEDs onto your breadboard. Make sure to connect their negative legs, shorter one to the ground rail of the breadboard. Now connect the positive legs to GPIO pins. Yellow to D18, green to D19, white to D16, that is RX2 this one. Red to D17, that is TX2 pin. Now insert the push button like this. Connect their one terminal to the ground rail of the breadboard. Now connect switch 1 to D12, switch 2 to D14, switch 3 to D26 and switch 4 to D27. Now connect one jumper wire from the GND of ESP to the ground rail of the breadboard. Double check the wiring according to the circuit diagram before proceeding. Now download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. We include the Wi-Fi library to connect ESP32 to the internet and web server to host a mini web server on the ESP32. Replace your underscore SSID and your underscore password with your Wi-Fi network credential to enable ESP32 connectivity. This sets up a web server on port 80, the default port for HTTP. Here we define 4 LED pins and 4 switch pins as array for easy access. Each LED state is stored in LED state and the color name is LED names which we will use later for the UI. This function creates a neat wave interface with 4 buttons to toggle LEDs. Each button updates its level based on the LED state. When a button is clicked, it triggers the, you know, the toggle LED XURL and toggles a specific LED then reloads the page. In setup function, we initialize the serial monitor, configure LED pins as output and switch pins as pull-up inputs. We connect to Wi-Fi and set up our web server endpoints. In the loop function, we constantly listen for HTTP requests and also check if any physical switch is pressed. If a switch is pressed, it toggles the corresponding LED with a small delay to debounce. That's it. Now we will upload the code to the USB32. Plug your USB32 into the computer using the USB cable. Set the correct board USB32 dev module. Then go to the tools and port and select your, the port where your USB32 is connected. As for example, COM4. Make sure to replace the Wi-Fi name and password here. Now click the upload button, the right facing arrow. If you see connecting dot dots appear, just hold down the boot button until it start uploading. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 115200. You will see message like connecting to Wi-Fi and then Wi-Fi connected and IP address will be displayed. Note down the IP address. This is how you will access the LED controller in your browser. Open your device's browser and type the IP address in the address bar. You will see a clean interface with a four color buttons, one for each LED. Tap any button and watch the LED turn on and off instantly. You can also press the physical buttons to do the same. This is a smart plus manual dual control in one project. You just created your own dual mode IoT automation system using ESP32. Perfect for learning home automation, web server and smart control logic. If you like this project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting DIY tech with RoboRB. Got any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. We would love to help you build better.